Testing one two one two. It's been a long day, and you just want to go away. You can't sleep at night, and now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow, but you're going to feel out of day. We can tingle it away. Now I'm here. Hey, Spirit of Light. Bomb. The bomb.com is good. Oh, it's good. And you can taste the freshness of the coffee. You know, you know, decaf ain't gonna never taste like <laughs> caffeinated coffee. It ain't gonna never, you know, but child, when it's fresh, it's good. You can do it. You know what I mean? Because I do like coffee for the taste of it. And Nadine got her little, oh, I tried to get just a little bit of the whipped cream, y'all. She wouldn't even give me a little bit. She wouldn't even let me taste it. She wouldn't even put nothing on the straw for your girl. You know, it's like, no, 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 no. They got caffeine. No, no. So, I'm going to leave her alone with her pretty drink a croissant. And I know last time I was upset about my croissant. But, you know, I tell next time, I don't feel like my cheese is... Oh, the cheese is melted. It's just a... What size is it? Like a lunch size? Bad bag size? Band going on the back. I just got a, a, a cute little red summer uh, a summer dress that's striped with like red, white, and blue and some other colors. But it's, it's like, mm, it's real cute. She looks real cute. Mm -hmm. Her little purse, her red purse, mm -hmm. her long braids. Mm -hmm. I would eat crab every day, all the time. They said the crabs just be right there. Like you go up to the water, and the water's green and and you could just look down the water and you could see the, the fish and the crab like right there at your feet. You could just see. Child, I think we living in Brazil. Not to mention the, you know, little freaky, good looking shake. Oh my God, don't tell me. I can't talk about them. But yes, uh, so I'm not really going to the part of China. I, now that I see somebody cute and stuff like that, I'll tell them like, if they near me like, you know, you're a handsome person, you know what I mean? Or you're a cute person. I don't have no problem telling a woman she's beautiful and a man's handsome. Uh, cute little old lady. She making it, boy. Girl, you making it. You doing better than me. Because she moving fast. And I'm slow. <laughs> I'm so slow. Don't try to count your blessings, you know. And it's a blessing. To be able to get out the house and feel fresh air. Be able to go to the grill and cook. And find love after 50. Doubtful. Like, I just just like i'm just like impressed and i think i'm spiritually shocked that i actually found or my person my person found me because i didn't find him y'all he, he always remind me baby i found you finding like a small community place to grill it was nice it had like seats out there it had grills out there it had somewhere for the children to play it had somewhere to walk it had somewhere people play ball um play tennis it was nice I'm loading the, the, the truck and let's get cooking because it's going to be dark. Even though it said it's open from dusk to dawn. I'm like, oh, that's good. Because a lot of times it'd be like a time limit and you got to get out of here at a certain time. You cannot. It's like a uh, literally. They say the park is closed at 7, 9. You got to go. You know what I'm saying? Let's hurry up. And, and I was thinking if I only could get like. A uh, few of the crab steam and the fish done. Um, I won't worry about the potatoes and the corn. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I can cook them and then finish cooking in the oven when I get home if they didn't get done. Yeah, I knew the zucchini would get done fast. And child, they, they stand in there. They start rubbing their stomach like, you know, first I was saying, dang, she must have just ate good because she, she literally on a corner and she just rubbing her stomach. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then I started thinking like, is she, did she just finish eating or, or do she see that we're about to get ready to grill and get ready to come, come over and, and I don't know, maybe see if we're going to offer some food or something. I don't know, y'all. So Hello, 
hello y'all okay so i never got to go back to cook out um but i did find a mo the most peaceful serene beautiful place um and i did find some grills so in the future um i'll do try again but Child, it's like if I don't do it right then and there, I know I'm not going to do it like I'm not going to want to do it for a minute. It takes me a minute to want to just do stuff like that. Like once I make up my mind, I want to do it. I want to do it right then and there or it's just not, it's not going to happen. But uh, what I did was I, I blackened me and Nadine's fish and I uh, cooked um, baked potatoes and I made a paste for the baked potatoes and the fish. And it was, it was delicious. It was delicious. And I was like, dang, I wish I would have waited because I did find a grill. And, but I just, I was hungry last night. Yeah, I was so hungry. And then after I ate my fish, I watched, um, what's that show called? Love Allen. Mm-hmm. I watched that for a minute. And then I think I fell asleep on, I think where the two new guys came in is one named Isaiah and then what's the other one name oh I don't even remember his name but yeah I was watching the one of the latest season Love Allen yeah it's pretty it's okay it's a it's a show <laughs> it's a dating show and it's a show where um people uh, match with each other or I find a person to match with that day and they couple up and they sleep together they they build on their relationship and then at the end of the week they can if they don't like who they with they can switch out or they can choose somebody else to come in you know and nothing's guaranteed a person could be feeling you today and just not feeling you the next day or feeling you until the next hot thing walk through the door but if that hot thing was already there she would already be old news and then they wouldn't be thinking about her and then if, if you was the hot thing walking in it'd be all in your face you know i'm enjoying this one because i so far um i i've seen about um it's three black girls that's there different places um they got a japanese hawaii girl there she's very pretty her name is i think kara she's very pretty my favorite person is cash and uh, what's her, what they call her, Cash, Cache. Ooh, I like Cache. I like her. Uh, I'm going to tell y'all why I like her in a minute. Um, then it's, and then we got Trina. Um, and then we have uh, Loretta. And then there's another uh, girl there. But she's not, uh, I think she's white. And, though she's Caucasian. And I think her name is... Um, low redder they got a lot anyway they got like two redders there um shannon and then they have um amy um and then they have who else um oh olivia i like olivia mm-hmm i like olivia yeah um so yeah chat i can go i can really like talk about the show but it would it would take me a minute I have to be like, okay, we're going to talk about this show. Maybe I will do that, but I might not. I don't know. But, yeah, let me tell you why I like Cache. Cache is uh, a very dark-skinned woman, um, thin frame. She's beautiful. I bet you she models. You know, I feel like all of them, like everybody did. Nobody looked pretty average to me. Everybody seemed like they could be in the category of being some type of model, in my opinion. Oh, I forgot my lip gloss and my chapstick child today. I don't know what I'm going to do. My lips start to get really dry. I'm pulling everything out this thing, trying to see if I got anything in here. But yeah, I like Cache because um, she came in with with her wig on like every you know you know like we do you know we wear our wigs and she says she's really there to find love like she's really there to find somebody to love and to grow with she's not there just for a hookup and she took off her wig because she says she shaved her wig off she shaved all her hair like a month before coming to the show and 
she want to be accepted by that she wear a wig or she don't by the person she want the person to see the real her like she don't want like to lie or fake or anything about who she is so she took off her wig and girl like she stood in the line with everybody waiting to meet the new people child with her wig with her wig yes she did <laughs> Yes, she did, girl. Uh, not, I mean, without her wig. Without her wig. <laughs> Child. I was like, yes, yes, Cache Go, girl. And, um, yeah, she got quite a few men through the show that's kind of, like, feeling her because they like her personality. And um, she had, they had one black guy that... But they got more than one black guy, I think, on the show. Is it? Well, the other ones, are they, they, I don't know what they go by. Because when you buy racial, you can pretty much, you, you kind of just choose, like, or I don't know how that go. Because I'm not bi biracial, but I, I could tell that one of them very, have a lot of Caucasian in them. Uh, I see a couple of mixed guys. But they're like the, the oh, oh, you know who might not be mixed? But I'm not sure. What's his name? He's a oh girl. He's a real extrovert. He's Johnny. Is he John, his name Johnny? He's with Olivia. Child. He's he's a black guy. Girl, he's too much for me. But Olivia is saying the more and more she get to know him, the more that he seems to be really in her. He's starting to feel. She's starting to really feel him. But then how tight them walk through the daggone door last night before I went to bed. Child. And he, he like Olivia. Ooh, girl, that's the finest white man I've ever seen in my life. I know I always tell you every time I see just a certain man and I he the finest, but it's like the next one is the finest. Child, I mean it. What is his name? Ooh, ooh. Oh, God, you melt when you think about him. I can't even think of his name because he just came to the door and I was halfway asleep. His features, y'all. Oh, my God, his bone features, his neck. He's 6'5". They's... They said that man 6'5", y'all. 6'5", that's a ooh, good looking, best looking, good looking white man I've seen in my life, child. Yes. And I don't know. Olivia says she's falling for Johnny, but ooh, child, I got to find out. I got to see what's going to happen. You know, because when when the two last two guys walked through the door, all the women were like silenced. They couldn't even speak anymore. They were just like, like, scrubbed. Like by Cupid, it was just like, shoot, my mouth was open. I said, whew, oh my gosh, what's going to happen now? But yeah, Cache is uh, with Isaiah right now. And she liked him. And Isaiah liked it, Amy. He was really like, seemed like that's who he was going to choose. I got a Subway cookie, but mm, I want a peanut butter. Um, I don't know if I'm really liking I'm chocolate chip. It's really soft. I'm thinking it's the type of chocolate chip you can put in the microwave right, and just eat it with milk. Mmm. That's good. I'm going to save my other half. Mmm. And I feel like the guy with Olivia is really feeling her. Like, really feeling her. But she said she just don't go for a guy like Johnny. Like, she don't go for him. But child, I don't know. This gonna be some drama, y'all. And then Josh done came in the house and he was looking for who he was gonna choose. And out of all the women, he seemed to really like um all the women liked him. Very handsome. He from um Houston. Isaiah. They liked the him. And mm, this time I got mustard on my sandwich, y'all. I got tuna with mustard this time. Hope it's good. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. It's good. Give you a little different taste. And. Amy really into him. 
And mind you, Jeremy, who is now with Amy, was with Trina, the black girl. And, that, and Trina really liked it, Jeremy. And he kept, he kept telling her he want to take his time. I don't like to move fast. No, that stuff. She wasn't trying to hear it, child. She, uh, she was giving it to him that night. Okay, she wasn't trying to hear that. Well, why she telling the girls how much she feeling him? He telling the guys he not head over heels over her, for her. Somehow or another, him and Amy started talking. And then a new girl came in the house. I don't know. I don't remember her name. I don't know if her name's Jita. But Jita said, he said, and him and Amy was just friends. I didn't see her like a friend. I don't know what it is about this girl. Jeremy all over her. He liked her. He talked to her. He flirty. He touchy. Everything he said that he didn't want to do. And he wasn't. He was with this girl. So I, I, that tells me that he just wasn't feeling Trina. Uh, I believe I believe he picked Trina to stay in the house because I'm not couple up with nobody. You might have to leave the house until he found his type and his type walked through the door and Amy wasn't it. I think Amy thinks she's everybody type. So, after she took um, Jeremy, she wanted Isaiah. And she was shocked at the recoupling that Isaiah chose Cachet over her. She was shocked. And... Now she's upset. But Isaiah, he all over cash. Every chance they get, they passionate kissing. They're probably doing other stuff. Talking. He like her. He keep telling everybody he really want to get to know her. Like he really want to really get to know her. And he told Amy, he still got feelings for her. There was something about, was something about Cassie for him. And I'll tell you what it is. They played a game of truth for dear or some stuff. And Cassie had to kiss somebody. And she chose to kiss Isaiah. And they, she put that kiss on him. And they've been together ever since. She put that, that, that good kiss on him. But I feel like if I did didn't pick cashier, she would have went home. Because her man, as she really cared about, and liked it, Trina took. And her and Trina post had been cool. And Trina didn't even want. Her name is uh, Cinco. She didn't even want him. But you know, girl, when a man is treating a woman good, 
And you can see how happy that woman is, her personality. And she's enjoying and loving her man. He becomes eye candy to other women. So now, Trina went after him hard. And Tasha was already making out with him. Kissing, sex. She was believing everything he said because she really liked him. It seemed like he really liked her a lot. But Trina was like throwing that lust on him. They are two different girls. But Cashier got that winning personality. And I feel like she was stuck with Cinco. She wouldn't have traded him in for nobody. Now, I don't know about Trina now. He done picked, he done, he done, he done left Cash, Cash in and picked Trina over Cash in. Don't mean Cash is going to have his back like, um, I mean, don't mean Trina going to have his back like Cash with her. I don't know. There's a bunch of drama to be watching before you go to bed, but I slept good. And then Amy, she having a heart attack. Because after Trina took Cinco, Isaiah picked Cache. They look like they really falling hard for each other, y'all. And it's almost like Amy just went to say the hands from over to her. She needs to focus on Germany. But now Germany, German, whatever his name, his Germany, what's his name? Anyway, he into that other girl. You better couple up with somebody. Because after we couple with somebody going home. Mm-hmm. Um, on the guy there. Um, Corby. Corby with, um, the girl that Jeremy like. Jeter. And child. Uh, Corey didn't didn't um, warm up to nobody. He liked this girl. He lunch was good. I ate half my sandwich. It was really good. I enjoyed it with the mustard. But I think I would like to do the mustard like here and there when I got like a, I get like a taste for mustard. You know what I mean? Um, is my car still on? I still got my car running. I think I turned my car off. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go to Wendy's and get me a frosty, a thick chocolate frosty. My mouth is so dry right here. I left my lip gloss, my ointment, everything. And I usually don't do that. Um, yes, once in a while I have like nothing on my lips. And today I guess gonna be it. it shoot, feel dry as heck. But that sandwich was good. But yeah, um, so yeah, the young lady Amy um, is upset with Isaiah, because he picked Cache, and she feel like they shouldn't have been kissing in front of her because Cache know how she kind of liked Isaiah, but they all met Isaiah at the same time. Um, she said that Cache was like her best friend, but um, Amy only been in the house like a week, y'all. Like, you would think these people have been together like five, six months. These people, two weeks to max, they know each other. Some, some people just a week, some people just a day or two, you know, like... I think um, Isaiah been there for like maybe two and a half days and he don't eat him a cachet really hitting it off. But uh, he told Amy that he got he, feel, he got some type of feelings for her. He like her, but he really want to get to know cachet. So, hmm, and, and mm, 
I guess, you know, doing this dating game, girl, girl, someone pulled up with the same exact Jeep as I got. It's so cute. Every time I see somebody else's Jeep, I'll be like, it's so cute. They do so many different things. This lady got all kind of squishies on, in the front of her Jeep. They do so many cute, cute stuff with their Jeeps and stuff. But yeah, um, I don't, in my heart, I feel like Isaiah really like Cache. And I feel like he don't want to hurt Amy's feelings. But Amy is so used to that when she set her mind on somebody, she gets them. And, and she's not used to feeling that rejection feeling. I think that's what it is. Her heart is feeling rejection. And she's just devastated over it. But the new guy done came in and he seemed to be taking a liking to Amy. But he... He kind of trying to pretend he like Cache. I don't believe it. I think he, somebody talked to him and, and told him, give a Cache, you know, or or maybe Cache looked good to him because she would, Isaiah. I don't know, y'all, but I don't feel like it's real. I feel like somebody trying to get Isaiah from Cache, away from Cache, something like that. But I'm, you know, shoot, girl, I'm just watching the show. But it's real good. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to watch one or two episodes tonight. Um, before I go to bed. But y'all dating and trying to find love. It's hard. It, it, it gets hard, you know. Uh, especially when you're trying to find something real. And then you're in a competition, child. All bets off the table. Because they also. They said the best couple. Going to win like a hundred thousand dollars. Right now, I'm thinking, you got Johnny and Olivia, you got, oh, he's so handsome. What is his name? Kirsten, Kirsten? her name is Kira, Kira, and, um, oh, child, a Colombian guy? Oh, my God. Oh, child, I would love to just see his parents. Oh, my God, the bone structure, the skin color, the hair, the voice. Child, yes. Mm, 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 mm. He's with the uh, Japanese Hawaii girl, Kira. And they make a good couple. So I think they strong. I think they number one. Anybody going to win that money, it's definitely going to be them. Number two, I see. Number three, Shannon and Josh. They done went at it, gone at it, done dated other people and back with each other. So, child. Shannon and Josh. Uh, they might, they might, they might be one of the people at the end. Uh, so, I, I don't know no other strong couple other than those right now. Hmm. But I'm sure I'm going to see what happens tonight. <sighs> so today, we're just kind of like riding around and checking out different places that potentially that we could, you know, see about renting as far as home. And, you know, because it's hard to find, like, you... I don't know. Like, where, 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 where are we staying is just temporary. It's just temporary. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with, like, way before time, start looking around. Because you just never know what you're going to find. Everything not online, y'all. Seriously, there's a lot of stuff that's just not online. And what you're looking for is not probably not online. And then I hate when you find a place and you think it's decent and then bullish come with it or stuff happens or who child if it ain't if it was it's just like it's not what you expected it to be and then we of course i downsized so i knew downsizing was just going to be temporary for me i made up my mind it was not going to be somewhere that i stay you know forever it's just going to be you know i'm downsizing to get my bills paid i'm trying to get my bills paid I don't want nobody worrying me to death. I don't want people, you know, trying to mess me up because I owe them some money. You know what I'm saying? So, child, I'm trying to get my bills paid. And if I have to downsize to do that, I will. Because I know some people wouldn't do it. They would not downsize. They would not do certain things to just be able to accomplish something that, you know, for a short period of time so they can 
finally, you know, get somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Child. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know, when people go past you and they see you can't talk to the camera girl, they look back like three, four times like, what is she doing? Why is she doing that? <laughs> It's still so funny to me. They, 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 like, that's why I told you, everything not online, there's a lot of people who don't even deal with the freaking internet, y'all. They don't, they don't do the vlogging thing, you know. So it's still real, very much strange to them when they see it. I think the only reason why there's a lot of stuff that I do, I know about, is because of my kids. It's because of my kids. My kids were watching YouTube. When I ain't know nothing about YouTube, I didn't never even heard of it. I'm talking about my kids talking about. I'm talking about when they were like four, and and six, eight, ten, twelve. I still didn't know about. It. I found out about YouTube when my kids were teenagers. You know what I'm saying? And I still couldn't really grasp it. And the only reason why I got in really got into it is because, um, we my daughter started fuming. She started fuming, talking to me and stuff like that and upload in video. So yeah, that's the only reason why I had gotten into it. So yeah. And when my daughter started telling me about, you know, I was telling her that I can do what I do, which is ASMR. She was saying, she started showing me, you know, other people and what they were doing and, and I can, you know, pretty much, you know, maybe be inspired or come up with my own style. So that's what I did. I just decided to just, I, I, I decided I'm just gonna jump into it and I'm gonna be completely me. And then we gonna see where we go. <laughs> we gonna see where we go, y'all. I always tell y'all when I got my first subscri 12 subscribers, I was off the, I was, I was, it was just, it was amazing. It was amazing. I was so freaking happy. I, it was unbelievable to me. I was shocked that people actually subscribed to your girl's spirit and liked it me. And then when I saw like 5,000 people, I was just like, I know that freak that's right. Y'all, I know that's right. There's people out there that love their girl's spirit, that like me, that like my personality. They like my my vibe they like what's going on with me they like the fact that i'm just being me they they like spirit some of them some of my people now love me we all know yes so i'm just amazed i'm amazed every time i start to think about like my journey of where i started at and where i'm at now i don't grown up so much y'all have i grown up <laughs> i grown up so much oh my gosh <laughs> My daughter, I'm going to tell you what happened yesterday. She was looking at um, an old video, y'all. I'm trying not to like, I hate when people stare at me and I start staring at them back because you know I'm a few people watching. And I know they're staring at me because I'm sitting up here talking to the camera. But my daughter was like watching this old video where I was uh, talking about a fight in, in Audible and boxing. Y'all, when I tell y'all Nadine felt the freak out, Nadine was hollering. She couldn't even get herself together her stomach was hurting and she cracked up laughing she said mom you are so freaking funny i can't i can't take it i said <laughs> yeah i forgot i even did something like that like so a lot of my videos i do not even remember what i do because i just kind of go by what the day bring like yesterday i did the men again and i decided to to, to share the last freeze pop of the blue one because the blue one turned out to be my favorite so I shared it with y'all. Didn't know what it was going to bring but y'all liked it. And then, oh my god, y'all used the green screen. Like...
And I wasn't even going to put it up. I wasn't going to put it up because I used the green screen. And I was saying, I purposely didn't wear my, my blue wig because it's blue and green. I knew it wouldn't show up on a green screen. So I put on my dark brown, cute wig. I need to give her a name. Mm. Ooh, she need a name, y'all. I need to name my wigs. I got a lot of wigs I need to name now. Um, but yeah, y'all, I put on that a brown dark wig and I always seem to look good in that. Y'all seem to like it. I gotta get a new one though. A new, you know, one that I don't have to brush so much. But I know I don't I shouldn't be throwing away my wigs because y'all love when I brush them, comb them, brave. I can wear my wigs out and y'all love them when I put them on a mannequin. So yeah, I shouldn't be throwing my wig. Someone asked me how many wigs I had. At one point I had over 300 wigs and then I just decided that um, I'm going to go for a different style and I was going to get rid of all my wigs. But then when I went for the real wig, I didn't like the way it felt on my head. I didn't feel right. I like to feel like I got a wig on. Like I like to feel that. Ooh, girl, you cute. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like, I, the, to, trying to make everything look so natural and so real for me is not my thing. Like when I wear makeup, I want to look like I got on makeup. When I wear a wig. I want my wig to look, you know, more than just, oh, I'm just, I'm going to work this way. This is this, you know, or school this way, or I'm going outside this way, or like, um, as if it's my real hair. I don't like to wear wigs like that. I like, yeah, yeah. When you look at me, you're going to know I got a wig on, but you, girl, you're going to know I'm feeling cute, okay, when I got this wig on, okay? <laughs> so, um... I'm sorry if I keep, keep getting thrown off y'all because it's just, I don't know why I'm so busy today then the young lady got back in her Jeep and she's just kind of staring at me, looking at me, talk to the camera. I know it's just a little awkward and weird, you know what I mean? And then I got to, you know, watch my back and stuff because I am outside, you know, regardless. You just be careful, whatever you do, just watch your back. Um, you just never know. Matter of fact, let me lock my door. <laughs> and uh, Child, I can't roll my window up. I forgot I turned it off. But yeah, I don't lost my train. Of, I don't lost my train of thought. See, I'm talking about when I start to ramble. I was to okay, yeah. So, um, I put the freaking wig on, and uh, one one of my videos, and that's like okay, I can't make that mistake again. So I couldn't even put that video up, y'all. I look like I I literally was a face and was a part of the screen, <laughs> and I could see my people thinking like just falling out so i was like no i'm not no not y'all laugh at me enough okay so when i was eating the blue ice pop i said okay i'm gonna I'm do the blue ice pop but you know i'm thinking it was gonna be okay because of the royal blue that it was but when i went to go at it it disappeared into the ah, child into the film i was like nadine oh my freaking god i'm not putting up this video this did not come out right and she was like she was like, well, mom, let me, let me look at it. And then she looked at it. She was like, dang, mom, dang, dang, dang. She said, it's up to you. I said, well, I don't know. I don't know. She was like, well, what else you going to do? I said, I don't feel like doing anything else now because I ate my last ice pop. I'm already frozen. I'm not going to eat the other ice pops and I'm cold. You know what I'm saying? So she said, well, I said, you know what? I'm going to put it up. I'm going to put it up and just see what happens. And y'all end up liking the freaking video. And I'm like, dang, okay, y'all. You see, y'all, y'all really appreciate the sound. Somebody told me that it was a very beautiful video. And I'm just like, wow, okay, okay, thanks for the input. Yeah, I, I felt I thought I started to feel better because I was feeling bad about that freaking video. And then um there was a time when I had did a video, I really put my heart into this job. I bought a CNT, a CNT hat, right? A Sandy hat, and I bought the beard with it. Matter of fact, it was sent to me from, I don't know if it was Sheen, I can't remember. But anyway, it was free for me, picked it out, and um, I did a eating cookie video with it. And I just wanted to be where I had my little white beard on, I eat my little chocolate chip cookie, take a bite, be all cute, make the sounds and everything. I'm looking all cute, my little sandy hat and beard on. 
Child, when I started to do the video, the, the lip wouldn't open up. It had a little slit, but it wouldn't open up for the cookie to get in. So I tried to, I don't know what, I don't know what I was thinking, but I lift the beard up real fast, took a bite of the cookie and put it down and, and was hoping that it was so fast that no one could really see um, that I, oh, he's so cute. Oh my God, he's so freaking cute, y'all. He is so cute. Oh my goodness. He having a face and bring your butt back here, daddy. Come back here. His window wide open. I bet you ain't gonna leave that window though. He know his daddy coming back for him. He's so freaking cute. Oh, let me snap my feet and see if he see me. Look. <laughs> the, oh, look here in the window. He's so cute. He's trying to figure out where's the window. Where's the... He's so cute. He said, Daddy, get back here. Daddy, please come back and get me. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. And y'all. I don't have a dog, but why do I love the most ugliest dogs and the most cutest dogs so freaking much? Why do I love dogs so much, y'all? I love dogs. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Can y'all imagine my puppy having my personality? Because I feel like puppies take on the personality of their mommy and daddy. You know what I mean? Oh, my God, my dog would be so cute and funny. Okay, so over time, I done had about... Two, wind, two windy frosties and I thought something was wrong with the way that they was making it at the place so I decided not to go to that Wendy's anymore for my frosty and I went to a different Wendy's this time and y'all the frosty you know this used to be like the small size that changed but not only that changed the inside don't have like the icy feel it don't feel like a shake it feel like you know when your frosty melt and it kind of get a little older and you kind of done with it that's what it feels like it doesn't feel, you know, so I'm, this is going to be my last Frosty, y'all. Frosty tastes like something that was sitting on top of the, like at the top, like bone. It's not giving you that satisfying feeling. So, yeah, I might as well just find me like an ice cream place or... Um, I don't know, I don't know, but I won't be getting it. If I want something chocolate and thick, I'm gonna have to find somewhere else. This, this is not it. They changed the cookies now. The frosty. Mm -mm. I can't promise tomorrow. Are you gonna fill out a day? We can tingle. Get away, I'm here.